Welcome to another recipe at thecheatingcook.com. Today is going to be a very simple recipe. It's chicken. So uh, before, let's go over the ingredients. So here we have um, a chicken breast, but what we did is we halved it, so it's really thin. Um, we're going to stir. For, uh, we're going to pan fry this. So if it's really thick, it takes a much longer while. Uh, the next thing we have here is goat cheese. Um, after the chicken is cooked, we're going to be plating that with avocado. Um, this is ripe and uh, get it in the stores. You know, avocado is like a dollar. Uh, next two things we have are um, spaghetti noodles, broccoli, and an olive oil mixed with garlic. You can use marinara for this. So I guess it would be easier to uh, explain with cooking. And the first thing we do is start stir frying the chicken breast. So make, the first thing is make sure that it's thin. It will be faster. Already here, there is a wok full of olive oil. It's already served hot. We're going to toss it in and we're going to cap it. Um, the reason why I'm capping it is because the oil is going to splash out. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You can pan fry it in the regular pan, pan fry it in the wok. The most important thing is when you're done with uh, pan frying the chicken, just make sure it's done. So you can cut it in half just to make sure it's not red. So when we come back, we're going to do a plating, and we'll see when how it turns out. Welcome back to the chicken pan fry recipe. So before we um, eat this, let's talk about the dish a little bit. We just had regular chicken breast, and notice that we didn't marinate or do anything with it. So right now, this is very bland. This is pan fried, um, <laughs> just to make sure it was cut in half to make sure it was done. First thing we're going to do is get some goat cheese. So, if any of you guys have had goat cheese before, goat cheese is very pungent. It has a very uh, strong taste, and it's a little bit overpowering. So, what this is good for is this balances the blandness of the chicken right now. Okay. Next thing we want to do is get some avocado. Avocado, we can simply just plate it on top. Secondly, we're going to grab some of the pasta. The pasta here is just um, your regular uh, spaghetti pasta. You don't have to use pasta, you can use rice. Basically any type of carb dish would do. Um, and then you put your sauce on it. This just happens to be just olive oil and garlic. Lastly, let's get some broccoli. And that, that'll be your last veggie. So yeah, that's it. A very simple dish. How this dish plays in your mouth is, it's an explosion of different flavors. You have the chicken, which is just your meat, and you have the goat cheese, which makes it pungent, and the avocado, which is a little refreshing, followed by some pasta and some broccoli. So a very simple dish. Uh, the key to it is the combining of the unique ingredients. Nothing special in technique, nothing special in the quality of the meat, and that's about it to try it. So go ahead and try this, and uh, thank you for watching.